What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. As always, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. We are back here with our first Madden rebuild of the week and today we got a team that just lost last night on Monday Night Football, that being the Los Angeles Rams. While the Rams season isn't over yet by any means, there's still a chance they do make the playoffs. We're going to go ahead and jump in at Madden 25 since we haven't done it just yet. We're going to rebuild the Los Angeles Rams in Madden 25. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one and subscribe if you're new to this channel. As always, greatly appreciated. Of course, when it comes to the Los Angeles Rams, honestly thought when they made the playoffs last year that they could go all the way to the Super Bowl and potentially win it again. I really thought that. Then, of course, the Lions ended up beating them in round one. I still do think they're a dark horse team to make the playoffs this year and uh, make some noise because... When you have Sean McVay, Matthew Stafford, who in Madden doesn't get a lot of respect, only a you know a normal dev quarterback. Obviously, you have Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. Obviously, Puka struggled with the injury this year. Cooper Cup missed some time as well. So injuries have really hindered them quite a bit. But that definitely doesn't tell the whole story for sure. But it definitely has not helped them at all. But they do have some talent, and they finally have had their draft picks back. Of course, they went all in on going on that Super Bowl. And hey, they won it, so all credit to them. Of course, they have Jared Verse, who is an absolute stud. We're going to go ahead and sum into the end of your number one. We're going to see if Madden thinks this team is going to make the playoffs or not. And then based off the results we get, we're probably going to have to draft a new quarterback, unfortunately. I think Stafford, there's a chance he plays again next year and is their starter next year. But I feel like in Madden, he's probably going to regress like crazy, which gives us no chance next year. But with that being said, let's just see how we do in year one. So at the end of year number one, we finish up at 7-10 and do not make the playoffs, unfortunately, which really sucks. It would not surprise me at all if Stafford did call it a career. I don't know if Madden has him retire in year one, but let's find out if that is the case. So let's head to our division, of course, the NFC West. And no, Stafford has not retired. So uh, I still don't know if I want to keep him as a starter. I guess we'll kind of see how much he goes down in overall. But let's just go ahead and get to the resigning stage first. And we got to build this team back up. This team still has a lot to like, of course, but there's just some things that it needs. $112 million in cast base uh, at our disposal, which is great. So James or John Johnson at 29 could probably let him go. Tutu Outwell, 25. AJ Jackson, left tackle. Michael, Bobby Brown, Rob Havenstein, Witherspoon. You know, to be honest with you, with how much cap space we have, I thought there'd be a lot more free agents we'd have to worry about here. I totally forgot that Jimmy G was on the Rams, by the way. That's very funny. Uh, but there's not like a whole lot of guys here. There's not even really one person. I'm like sitting here being like, okay, yes, I definitely need to resign him. Rob Havenstein, I guess is like the only one. Cause I like to keep my offensive line as good as possible. So if Rob Havenstein wants to come back, but he's not interested, which is no big deal. So honestly, the rest of these free agents, I'm not too concerned about. Let's just go ahead and get straight into free agency and you know, free, free agency hasn't really been that great. Uh, as you guys know, in these rebuilds, which uh, means guys are just being resigned and there's not much we can do about it. And trades are really hard in Madden 25. I've noticed you have to give up so many draft picks to make anything happen. So our best lineup looks like this, though. So you have Puka Nakua, you have Cooper Cup. We have no third wide receiver. Jordan Winnington out of Texas, I know, has some upside. But forgot about Higby, who obviously has been out for the season. You have uh, Christian, you have Dodson, you have Avila, you got Jonah Jackson. Uh, so the offensive line isn't bad. Our tackles are pretty weak, so that's probably something we need to look into. Stafford is still the quarterback right now. And again, like I said, I'm fine with running it back with him again. But I don't. I might draft a quarterback still. I still might draft a QB because I think that would make sense to do. Uh, Jared Verse, of course. I don't know if I, I don't know if I said Brian Verse earlier. Uh, I probably did. Jared Verse. Hopefully, I didn't say Brian Verse. But Jared Verse, of course, is amazing at that left uh, outside linebacker spot. And then our uh, Byron Young isn't bad either. Cameron Curl, who was a former Washington commander. I like him a lot. And yeah, so quite a bit still needed on this team. So we're just going to head into free agency and scrap up what we can in this free agency class. And of course, hit what we can also in the draft. So not even going to lie to you, this free agency class is probably the best I've ever seen in at least year one. And I'm low-key kind of going for it. I'm just going after everybody I see at the very top. So... We're going after Javarius Ward, we're going after Demarcus Lawrence, but we may not get him. Washington is in on him like crazy. Uh, Garrett Bowles, David Bakhtiari, who would solve our offensive line problem as far as the tackles are concerned. So this would be our way of really going for it. So Nick Bolton, I really want on this team as well, but it doesn't look like we're even close. And I offered him a really good offer too. So I don't think we're getting Nick Bolton on this team, unfortunately. But um, if we can get, you know, like Javarius Ward... Lawrence probably won't get, but Bakhtiari and both the tackles. So that'd be pretty solid. Let's see if we get four out of five. 
and we are gonna oh we don't get ward either so we get bulls and bakhtiari so i guess that solves our tackle problem for a year but definitely still need to you know look into uh solving that but unfortunately we did not get any, any other guys so ward went to washington so washington spent big on lawrence and Javaris ward and free agency very interesting bolton does not sign with us and you have rob havenstein who's still sitting here we tried to get him back i'm still fine with resigning him and we could draft our left tackle in uh the draft as well but we'll try to get rob havenstein back in la uh zeitler warren bobby wagner i mean we could sign bobby wagner who played for the rams for a second we just need anybody a middle linebacker at this point bobby wagner is a guy i've signed quite a bit uh but like i said we just need a body there at this point um cam robinson signed jordan mason we already have obviously our uh we can get mike hilton zach moss rondell moore a third wide receiver is definitely necessary i don't mind rondell moore here uh whittington we could allow just to do something for us but i'm fine with just signing bobby Wagner, rondell moore and rob havenstein and uh they are gonna say let's see nope did are we let's see so we got bulls we got rondell moore bobby Wagner, and then we didn't get uh whoever else we offered on which i forgot havenstein did not come so both our tackles are an issue which sucks uh we will see if we get uh also bobby wagner but i doubt it so we're just gonna head straight to the draft and figure out what we're gonna do in this draft honestly there's a number of ways we could go with this first round pick we can draft a qb we can draft some offensive line uh but yeah a lot of different options we could take here so we in fact do win bobby wagner in free agency our corners are pretty bad as well our d tackle is a big massive hole we could use another middle linebacker we're gonna need another one for the future because bobby wagner won't be here forever he comes back for a year in la uh obviously a quarterback is definitely still something under consideration although i will say we could get, run it back with stafford for a year and then brock purdy is usually in free agency so i do wonder if we could just like land brock purdy in next year's free agency because the 49ers never resign him for some reason uh but we'll see let's just get straight in this draft and we're just gonna figure out what is available to us so uh jumping straight in we'll see what the best player available is so we'll be picking at number 12 so not a high draft pick but we'll see who goes so far so Shador goes one Hunter two uh Cam Ward goes to the Saints Milrow goes to the Browns so if we drafted a quarterback it'd be like you know Carson Beck or uh Quinn Ewers which I'm not sure I really want to go that direction uh like I said we could draft Quinn Ewers but honestly I don't know I'm not sure if I'm if Quinn Ewers is gonna be uh Carson Beck like I said would be interesting as well but honestly we might pass on QB and we could either take our left tackle of the future because we're going to need one. We're not going to be able to keep Garrett Bowles and um, also uh, David Bakhtari for more than a year, probably. We have our free safety, which we do need a free safety for the future. Malachi Starks is looking pretty good with this first selection. So, or we could also use a corner. So let me look and see. Ashton Jean T. We already have Kyron Williams. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, corner down here is Shevin Revel. I have heard some good things about him, but in Madden, he just isn't very good, at least in this draft class. So I think I'm going to take Malachi Starks out of Georgia. That'll be our first pick in round one, our 12th overall selection. We needed a free safety. Number 14, True Value, drafted on 12. So it looks like we did pretty good there. Welcome to the Rams. So not a bad start to this one. And let's get to round two. So in round two, um, we'll see if there's a quarterback. Or we don't even have a round two pick. Or a round... Or no, we do have a round three. I was going to say, damn, we don't even have a round three pick either. So round two, we did not have. So that really hurts us. So Revel did fall this far, but his ratings are just terrible. But I'm pretty sure I've heard good things about him in real life. So we could take Corleone, who could be our D tackle, or we could take, I mean, we Drew Allers here as well, I guess, but um he doesn't look terrible. But I don't know, man. I think we're just better off waiting and hoping we can land a quarterback in either next year's draft or maybe just sign one in free agency. So Shevin Revel, if I'm saying that name correctly. He just he just doesn't look good man I, I can't draft him i think he got hurt or something out of east carolina we got uh baron out of texas as well which this one actually looks pretty good so we're gonna go in and take this corner so we're really focused on the secondary so far in this draft and uh number ooh, not a good pick hidden dev though so i guess we'll take that over nothing else so i'm um, happy with that and now we go to round four although usually in round four i'm not very good at hitting on these picks so not having a round two pick definitely really hurt us I don't really expect to make the playoffs next year to be honest with you um we got Riley Leonard Jalen Royals we got a right in we got a left outside linebacker D tackles are here as well uh we got Jordan Phillips who I guess we can draft because we just need a D tackle 
Um, so we'll grab Jordan Phillips. I mean, this is a round four pick. So yeah, terrible pick. Yeah, I probably should have let the assistant GM take care of that because I just suck at drafting in round four. But I don't know if we did enough. I think we'll be good next year. But unfortunately, with Stafford being as low overall as he is now, I don't think it'll be enough. Puka Nakua, of course, is our wide receiver going forward. Cooper Cup, I'd love to keep around as well, but it would not surprise me if maybe he just keeps regressing and it wouldn't make sense to keep him as well. Uh, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and get into this next season and we'll see how things go in year two. So here's the lineup going into season number two. Obviously, offensive line has been upgraded with Bulls and David Bakhtiari being added. We got Higby now at tight end off his injury. Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams, Stafford, of course. Uh, they did draft this Brady Cook out of Missouri as well, but probably won't you know invest in him too much. Defensively, we obviously added Malachi Starks. We got Byron Young still, Spates, Bobby Weiner, Jared Verst, Cameron Curl, Barron. Uh, we didn't really get a D-tackle. We got Fisk, and we got uh, Williams as well and Kobe Durant. So... We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty much expecting to not be very good. But honestly, you know, I think this team would make the playoffs in real life. I'm just not really seeing that happening for us in Madden. But I could be surprised. We'll see. Let's just simmer to the playoffs and let's see how things go with it. So at the end of year two, it's kind of the same story as last year. We do not make the playoffs. Unfortunately, we went five and 12. So we have another high draft pick. And we'll be looking to move on from Matthew Stafford and just going in a different direction. Maybe moving on from some other players as well. I don't think I showed the stats last year either, by the way. So I do apologize for that. Offense, we were 18th in the NFL. So not a bad offense. Middle of the pack. And the defense will be 23rd in the NFL. So uh, you had 26 and 20 from Stafford. Uh, five touchdowns, 900 yards from Kyron Williams. Stafford with 260 rushing yards is pretty wild. Uh, Puka Nikola is great. 1,300 yards, 800 from Cooper Cup. Puka had 13 touchdowns to add on to that. Sacks wise, you did have uh, Kobe Turner with seven and a half, seven from Fisk, uh, four and a half from Verse, and then four from Bobby Wagner. Four interceptions to Curl, three from Starks, who we drafted, which is great. Three from Darius Swims, and two from Barron, and two from Bobby Wagner. So, a lot of work to be done this offseason. If Stafford is still here, we're absolutely going to cut his contract away. So, let's just go ahead. It, ooh, I just skipped the resigning stage on accident. Did not mean to do that. I feel so dumb. Oh my gosh. All right, whatever. What can you do about it? I already did it. So um, let's take a look at the lineup and see who's gone. That's probably important. My bad for skipping that part. Did not mean to do that. So Stafford is still here. Cooper Cup is a... Or no, he's just regressed down to 79 overall. Um, Higby was a free agent, looks like, or he retired. Kyron Williams was a freaking... Oh my gosh, I feel so dumb right now. Hopefully get him back. Defensively, Bobby Wagner is going to run it back for another year. Usually he retires after one season. Um, okay, a lot of work to be done. I feel so dumb. I think the only free agent I really noticed that's gone, though, is Kyron Williams. And that is obviously a must re-sign. Uh, and then we're going to cut Stafford, I think. And we could obviously maybe cut Cooper Cup as well. He's just regressed so much that it maybe doesn't even make sense to keep him. But Stafford, to me, is an obvious cut. We could save $37 million. Yeah, sign me up for that. So Stafford will be gone. Cooper Cup does not look like cutting him. Would, or it saves us $15 million. And then Jonah Jackson would save $17 million as well um yeah i think we do cut cooper cup he's an eight overall making 15 million dollars as much as i hate to do it to him and i love cooper cup i think it's a new era here in la so we're gonna cut cooper cup as well and now we're gonna have jonah jackson who i'll leave for now because i just want to have him as you know o-line for now but let's make sure we go resign kyron williams that is my number one priority 1000 percent and then no quarterback made it here so kyron williams is here how many offers does he have? He has uh, four. Okay. And he has no interest in resigning with us. So maybe he would have declined my offer anyway. But Andrews is here. Odafoe is here. I mean, we got to draft our QB clearly. Kolo Shakir is probably the best wide receiver we can get. Uh, but yeah, so QB will probably be drafted. But obviously, as I mentioned, we got to offer Kyron Williams a contract to come back. If we lose him, that is going to be very bad in Doomsday. Uh, where's number one offer right now? So we should be good on that department. Andrews, I'm not going to go for. Kelsey, I'm not going to go for either. Adolfoe is interesting, but we do have good linebackers already as it is. I like, I do like Byron Young. So I'll, I'll, I'll worry. Uh, Kendall Fuller. Um, we could sign Kendall Fuller. Taylor Mode. No, our O-line is still here. Kolosha Kier is 100% someone I do want to bring in, though. Puka, Kolosha Kier, Rondo Moore is not a bad wide receiver room. Kolosha Kier is kind of underrated, of course, in Buffalo. So uh, Kyron Williams, Kolosha Kier so far. That looks good. And then I'm going to go recap everything else we need, and I'll show you the rest of the offers we make. Cameron Curl was also a free agent. Definitely also someone else I want to bring back here in LA. 
All right, so I've made five offers in free agency. So, of course, we're trying to bring back Kyron Williams. Fingers crossed he does come back. Khalil Shakir we're going for. Cameron Curl is trying to be stolen by the Raiders. And then N'Kobe Dean and Deontay Ware are, are, are our other offers. So, I'm going to offer a little bit more on Cameron Curl because I do want to bring him back if possible. So, let's see. So, we got Kyron, Khalil Shakir, Cameron Curl. Hopefully, we get all five to sign. Obviously, the main priority is getting Kyron Williams back, and he is still thinking about it, but we get the other four, so that's good. I'm going to up my offer in Kyron Williams because I really do want to bring him back. You know, I really skipped re-signing stage on accident and feel really dumb about that, but Kyron and Cameron Curl would have been the main priorities, and we do get Kyron Williams back. So, you know, shoe, that's all good. That is taken care of. So that was a close one, but thankfully, we got it taken care of with no big deal. All right, so now quarterback clearly becomes the number one priority in the draft. I think Puka, Khalil Shakir, Rondell Moore, and Jordan Winnington is not a bad wide receiver room. Offensive line is fine for now, but definitely going to have to be invested in the next offseason. I don't think we'll be, you know, contenders next year, but um, we'll be a good team, I think, hopefully. So Bobby Wagner is here for now. We do need more corners. Deontay White kind of completes the D, uh, defensive line a, a little bit, which is great. Uh, Bobby Wagner, like I said, is a nice stop gap for now. But definitely a lot more work to be done. Corners is really bad. So we do need like a number one overall cornerback. But um, obviously, you know, that's hard to come by. We do have a lot of money. Tight end was also the problem. So we could have went after Andrews or Kelsey. But um, Kelsey is still here, technically. Josh Oliver, Bellinger, Broutman. I mean, Kelsey and a Rams jersey would just be weird. But we do have the money to spend. So do we just go for him? I mean, why not, right? Uh, what about corner? Um, we got... Kendall Fuller, who could have went for Rashul Douglas. I don't think it's a bad signing just to get someone in here. So I'm going to get Rashul Douglas and Travis Kelsey. And we have the money to spend, so we might as well spend it, right? Because uh, we're not going to be, you know, obviously, you know, signing a quarterback to a big deal anytime soon. I was going to see if Brock Purdy made it here because he does sometimes, but didn't this time. So we do need a tight end. Again, Kelsey in a Rams uniform to me just feels so weird, but I guess he's here. I'm going to go for it. Uh, but the Bucs are really going in on a nice offer for him. So... I mean, I'll give all my offer, but um, yeah, I'm good. If they want to offer as much as they have. Bellinger at 25. Do we just draft a tight end instead? Because uh, I don't really like it. I mean, we can go for Josh Oliver, I guess, who star development. Just get our, you know, get a body somebody. Get somebody here. So those will be the guys we go for. So we're going for Josh Oliver and also Rasheel Douglas, who the Panthers are fighting with this with so we'll see if we get Rashul Douglas and we do get him W so we got Rashul Douglas and Josh Oliver so not a bad free agency haul by any means we'll have a very early pick and we'll go see who our quarterback is because that's exactly where we're taking round one is getting our quarterback of the future and then maybe we can get our corner as well getting Rashul Douglas is great but we still need to me another cornerback for sure so we'll be picking at number six. And I will say, if there is not a QB that I don't like in this draft, we could also be psycho. You know, we could just go for it and trade for one. So let's see who goes off the board. So not a single quarterback has been taken, which is maybe a good sign for us. But I don't know what, you know, these quarterbacks are really like in the year 2026. So Nico out of Tennessee. I think I've heard of him. We also have Connor as well. I mean... Clearly, Peter Woods, uh, who I've drafted before, I don't I don't remember if he was good or not. But clearly, the number one pick, we do have a corner down here. Uh, we're not going to go corner. Jermaine Matthews at Ohio State, though, those look solid. Uh, but we need a quarterback more than anything, obviously. We could wait till round two. But we do have Nico here, and he does look pretty damn good. So instead of just trading for a quarterback, I think we do go ahead and take the guy here. So we got our quarterback of the future, Nico. Number 78, true value draft at number six, but he is hidden dev. We get our quarterback, which is something we absolutely needed. So welcome to the Rams, Nico. And now we go to the next round and hoping we can get a corner because that's the number one, you know, the better other position that's highly needed. Let's see. So we got another quarterback who fell all the way here. He was there at the top of the board earlier. Um, we got running backs for days, but not a corner in sight. We could take another tight end who I've drafted this guy quite a bit. But let's take a look at Thomas here out of Florida State. Uh, ooh, it looks pretty solid. Actually, this will be the next pick. So we're going to be uh, taking, I don't even know how to say that first name, but we'll take Thomas here in round two. Uh, number seven, ooh, solid pick. Number seven in true value, draft him at 38. So that, pretty damn good. So we get our quarterback and our corner in the same draft. W, home run in my opinion. And now we go to round three to make this last selection. So let's go see what is available to us in round three. I think we take an offensive lineman if possible here, but there's none here, of course. Uh, we could take a tight end, I guess, as well. But this is a blocking tight end. Um, F catching traffic, B run block, Lake McCree. 
Um, maybe we don't go that direction. We could take another corner, I guess. We could take an, uh, this tight end instead. Actually, this one looks pretty solid. A awareness, at least. Uh, we got a middle linebacker we could take as well. So we could take him. So let me look at this tight end. And let me look at the middle linebacker. So Jack, who looks okay. Okay. Jack Velling looks solid. But let's take a look at this middle linebacker who looks solid as well. So that is CJ Allen, pass coverage A. B, ooh, we could take, ooh, I kind of like both of these guys. A, awareness, B, man coverage, B, pursuit. Ooh, oh my goodness. I kind of like both these options. Who do I want those to question? I think middle linebacker is the bigger need. I think we can get a tight end eventually. We do know that we're going to need a middle linebacker for the future. So I'm going to take CJ Allen here and hope that's the better pick. And we get uh, C, great on it. He is in dev though. So I guess we can feel all right about it. We know Bobby Wagner is going to be gone. Uh, a new tight end would have been great too, but hopefully we can just hit on that in free agency. We're going to get into year three. Things should be a little bit better than they have lately, but we definitely still are pretty far away, I think, from being a contender. But it wouldn't surprise me at all for a playoff team next year. So your lineup for year number three is looking like this. We're going to keep everything the same as far as scheme is concerned. We do know we're going to have to replace both our tackles. Probably our whole offensive line, to be honest with you, is going to have to be replaced. Our tight end is going to have to be replaced. Wide receiver room will say the same. Kyron Williams will say the same, obviously. Defensively, um, we do have Allen making the depth chart. On Oh, Bobby Wagner's gone now. So maybe we move Allen as a starter right away. So Allen and Kobe Dean will start. Um, Thomas is there. We got Carnell as a backup. Stark. So all of this looks pretty decent. We're going to go ahead and simulate year number three, as I said. The goal is to hopefully make the playoffs because I do feel like we could definitely make the playoffs with this team. I don't know if we'll win the Super Bowl or anything like that, but I do think there should be promise shown this year and hopefully that does happen like we think it can so at the end of year number three we actually finished up the season at 11 and 6 we were a lot better than i ever could have anticipated but we do make the playoffs like i said i thought we could make the playoffs maybe at like a 10 and 7 9 and 8 but we go 11 and 6 11 games is really hard to win in the nfl um and we get to play the bears around one but let's take a look at the player stats before we get into it so offensively 11th the nfl with our new quarterback which is a great sign defensively Let's see. We were second in the NFL, so that's a really good sign. 31 to 21. We'd love to see those turnovers come down, obviously. But Kyron Williams, 10 touchdowns, 1,000 yards on the season from him. Uh, Puka Nakua continues to dominate. 19 touchdowns, 1,400 yards. Clearly, we get him the ball. Shakir and Rondell Moore were pretty solid at wide receiver two and three. Defensively, sacks-wise, you had nine from Kobe Turner, who continues to feast. Nine from Braden Fisk. Seven and a half from Verse. Four and a half from Deontay Wyatt. So we're really getting at it after it pass rush-wise. And we get the Chicago Bears in round one. But based off how good our defense was this season, you know, maybe it's not too crazy to think that we could go to the Super Bowl this year. I don't know. I could be crazy. But let's go ahead and jump in. Take it one game at a time, even though I just said Super Bowl. And let's play the Chicago Bears, who probably have Caleb Williams starting, of course. But yeah, they do. And we'll see how things go when we get into here in L.A. So hopefully our defense can be kind of the the reason why we win these games. If we can hold teams to like under 20 and our offense can put up, you know, over 20 points, which is kind of a simple sentence I just said, but you guys get, get kind of get the point. If our defense can be the reason why we win and it looked like we we're about to score, but they get an interception and we'll score on a field goal to respond to there. So defense is playing great so far. We do get a touchdown. So like I said, defense is doing great. Third quarter, we have the lead right now, and now we're about to go to the fourth with the lead, and we get 17 to three, and that might be all she wrote for this first game against the Bears. So just like that, as I said, if the defense can play that well, we hold the Bears to three points, which is pretty good. I know the Bears in real life are kind of struggling right now, but uh, Matt and they were pretty good. What's going on with my guy's shirt, by the way? It looks like he's got like holes at the top here, but regardless, let's get in the next round. Great start. Kill Williams was not good in this game at all. And let's go see who we get in Divisional Weekend. So in a Divisional Round, we get my favorite team coming in, and that is the Washington Commanders. Honestly, low-key, I think this is the first time that I've played the Commanders in the playoffs in a rebuild. So looks like Marshawn Lattimore is really helping our case here in the Madden Sim. But hopefully our defense can hold Jaden Daniels and the Commanders here to under, like I said, just to under some points here. Uh, we were able to win a 17-3 gritty game against the Bears. Hopefully, we can get something like that here again. We start off with the football, and we're going to go up 7-0. Great start. Defense gets the stop we're looking for. 14-0 so far. This is beautiful, but they do get a touchdown on the board. We're going to go up 21-7, so our offense is clicking, and defense is holding the commanders to some uh, under... Oh, my goodness, bro. 
All right, it's 20 to 28. So it's a, you know, touchdown in the two point conversion game. But if we get one more first down, this game is essentially over. So we have Kyron Williams, who we know can run the damn ball. So let's see if we can get this one more first down. And that's going to be a great start to this drive. They're going to call their first time out, obviously. Three yards. Honestly, I thought I was about to get a little bit more than that, but I'll take three yards still. Um, all right. So now we're going to hand this rock off again. They are stacking the box, obviously. It would be funny to play action them. I'm going to go H bit halfback slam. All right. So blocks are there, and we get a little bit more closer. Third and three. To me, honestly, if we get close enough, I may go for this on fourth down. Do I stretch this or do I just run it up the middle? I'm going to stretch this. I'm going to be a psychopath for a second. I might be playing myself by doing this, but um, I'm going to stretch this and hope that Kyron Williams can get the corner and get the first down. I think we have the corner. Oh, that breaking the tackle kind of hurt me. Fourth and four. I mean, they need, we're going to punt it. They're going to, they need a touchdown and a two point. So I don't mind the punt here. So let's just punt this bad boy away and let's just trust our defense to do what they've been doing so far. So, all right. So it's, they're going to be at their own 20. Let's, uh, let's, uh, actually I do want to play all offense and I meant to, I, I want to watch this normal. Okay. So it's third and 12 yard reception. They're close nine seconds left and they don't get it done. So just like that defense holds up again. Washington's a very talented offense, but we're already headed to the NFC championship with our rookie quarterback. So things are on the up and up. And now for this NFC championship, we get to play Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. Obviously, these two teams are very familiar with each other. They met up in the playoffs this last year, opened up the regular season on Sunday Night Football, if I remember correctly. Obviously, no Stafford or Cooper Cup here anymore. So, you know, that was a big part of the rivalry, rivalry a little bit. But let's go ahead and get in to this game. So Detroit's a whole new offense. If we can hold Detroit to, you know, low scoring... That is a recipe for a Super Bowl victory, in my opinion. We start off with the first drive by stopping them. We're up three to zero. Get an interception from Darius Williams. And we don't score off the interception, though. But we get six to zero. We're not putting up enough points. I think the Lions can get back in this game at any moment. Low key, I kind of want to jump in and make this a 13 to zero game because we just have not taken advantage of the opportunities we've gotten. I don't love how our offenses have been performing. So I want to see if I can come out here and get a touchdown on the board for this team. So we're going to run it to start this drive. And that Loki might be a one play. No, it's not. But still, that was a really good start to this drive. So um, if we can just run, if we can just run it all over there, over them, I will do just that. I don't mind running the football like crazy if I need it, uh, if need to. So I'm going to run this again and see how this goes. So offensive line, great blocking. This didn't really quite hit the hole correctly, but still a good start to this drive so far um i am gonna come out here and throw the ball this time around though so close shakir or we have Kyron. we have ronda i don't like any of this um let's take them on some vertical so puka naku in the middle maybe looks good if he's there i think we have puka if i can get it Ooh, that's intercepted i underthrew that ball i also had pressure in my face so that was probably not great so i probably just what the uh all right fail that was a fail and the lions are going to score only a field goal off of that and all right another field goal goes on the board and we get another interception maybe i didn't need to jump in at all 15 to 3 it's 15 to 10 one thing i can do is run the ball honestly i felt like puka was open the pressure got in my face and i think i threw it late i think i needed to throw it earlier but if we can get one more first down this game is over which is what we need so good blocking and that's going to get us Ooh, that's one first down that's what we needed they're going to call their first time out um, that's pretty much all but over, but I do think there's going to be a little bit more time left um, all, uh, because they have two timeouts left, of course. So let's halfback some mixed direction them, and that's going to be second and nine, only one yard gain. All right. So yeah, I may have thrown the interception, but thankfully my team has had my back and our defense has been playing incredible, man. Our defense has been amazing. So really can't complain too much. Going to truck and we're going to get five yards there. It's starting four. We can just kneel this out. But like I said, there's going to be a little bit of time left on the clock. So I'm going to see if I can just get the first down with halfback stretch. So we're going to run this bad boy. And that's a first down, I think. And that is a first down. And that's your ball game. We are headed to the Super Bowl after we just got rid of Stafford, which is pretty wild. So um, feeling good. Feeling awesome. I don't know who will get in the Super Bowl. Obviously, it'll probably be the Kansas City Chiefs. So I had to guess, but... Year three Super Bowl feels good, especially with our rookie QB in town. So let's just kneel this out. 
I may have jumped in and thrown an interception, but thankfully my team had my back and we're going to the Super Bowl. So here we are in the Super Bowl and it's not actually the Kansas City Chiefs. You'd honestly never guess on who it is. I may have met this team once in the Super Bowl already in one of these videos because I feel like I have for some reason, but it's the Indianapolis Colts. Now I am curious on who's starting at quarterback. Is it in fact Anthony Richardson? It is. So Anthony Richardson is the quarterback for the Colts who you know obviously got benched for Flacco in real life. But here we go. Our defense has been incredible throughout these playoffs. Hopefully that holds up again. We force a punt on their first drive. Do we go score on our first drive? We do not. And we get another. Dude, our defense has been playing out of their minds. But our offense is doing nothing so far in this game. Until now, we get a field goal on the board. I mean, if this game ends 3-0, to zero, that'd be wild. 6-0. to zero. But they're finally going to get a touchdown. Okay, so there's five minutes left on the clock. So we needed a touchdown to take the lead here. And then I can trust my defense to do their thing. Because like I said, man... The defense has been incredible. Honestly, I might also change this to true clock. Running game. Ooh, if I... 73 blocks. I could have maybe... Oh, there's a penalty. Is there offsides? Yeah, it is. On them. Okay, I was about to say. Man, I feel like uh, I got tackled immediately. All right, I'm going to turn on true clock low key. Because we only need a field goal, technically. Uh, let's turn on true clock a little bit here. And let's just run the rock and try to get this... You know, try to get this done. So gonna run this and that's gonna be a first down and more obviously only to five yards for the first down there but um yeah just gonna feed kyron williams here and see what we can do here so four minutes 24 seconds left the time is ticking and let's jump in and run this rock so stretch is looking good again and we're already getting closer and closer to field goal range but obviously we're gonna try to punch this in the end zone don't be wrong but i'm just gonna run the hell out of this rock so by the way this is an all pro by the way, I know some someone commented that this is on pro or whatever. Bro, I, I promise you it's on all pro. Uh, not that that makes a difference, but um, I'm sure they're not that much different. But still, it's all pro, man. We need one first down here. So I'm going to throw this one. Third and three. Rondo Moore in the out or Puka Nakua. Um, hopefully, I can just hit Rondo Moore in the out route. He is there for the first down. So we'll take that. And we're just going to go ahead and possession catch that. All right. Um, so first down is captured and now I want a run play. So let's go inside zone here with Aaron Williams and let's see if we can get another good gain here with our running back. So um, not bad. Could be better. Second and seven. Let's reset this again. So they still want me to throw the ball. But again, I'm really liking running the rock right now. So I'm going to continue to run this football with Kyron Williams. We're about to get down the two minute warning. So let's see if we can get a first down on this run here. Give me a block 69, and that's a first down and more. Might be able to take this to the end zone. We will. We take a... Oh, no, they're going to tackle me. Kyron Williams on the speed, but we're going to get down. Um, and they're going to start calling the timeouts here soon, but we're going to be under the two-minute warning, and then we'll trust our defense. Hopefully, we're going to just punch this in the end zone. Uh, we're going to trust our defense to get the stop we're looking for um, once we hopefully score here. We probably have to go for two as well. Um, no block in there, but we're going to get in the end zone regardless. So there's going to be two minutes left in the clock. Honestly, I'm going to, I, I want to go for two here. So let's go for two. Cause I think that makes sense. And I already know what I kind of want to run on this two point conversion. I love stick a lot. I think you could either throw it to your tight end or, you know, we have Puka who I think I'm going to go to Puka here no matter what. And I'm going to trust him. going to catch it. That's two points. So they need a touchdown to tie the game. Um, now we're going to watch our defense go to work. Um, so we're going to play all offense and then we're going to watch our defense go to work. So, uh, they're going to run the ball incomplete pass to Richardson and they are on a fourth down already fourth and four and they can't get it done. We get the ball back. So we need one first down and this game is over and we have won the Super Bowl. All right. I mean, even then we're already in field goal range defense, man. This might be the best defense I've ever had in one of these Madden rebuilds so far. It's been so... Oh, we got absolutely caked there. Holy... Oh, my goodness. This is going nowhere fast. A 14-yard loss is not great. I'm not going to lie to you. That really was not a great start. Um, so, we might be able to... We might be giving them the ball back. But they won't have any timeouts left, at least. Because um, we're going to just run the ball um, and make them use their timeouts. So, third and 19. So, we're going to have to trust our defense again. That first, um, obviously, little, yeah, that first little run did not work out at all. We're going to toss this and see if we can get, like, a crazy angle. Um, oh, we might be able to, if I can, oh, my goodness. 
You cannot let that happen. That's your ball game. You cannot let that happen if you're the Indianapolis Colts. Wow, the toss actually worked. And we just won the freaking Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why the quarterback does that and walks through the center. Uh, but hey, seven, dude, all these games were so low scoring and ugly. But that just tells me how good the defense was that we assembled. Don't get me wrong. There was already some pieces here. But for whatever reason, this defense just clicked. And I'm... Couldn't be happier. So we got to kneel this one last time. What an incredible run. I did not expect to win a championship this early with this team. But once we replaced Stafford, it was kind of up from there. So the Rams playbook really seemed to work out. I didn't even change the playbook in this video either. So just beautiful stuff, man. Uh, but that's a beautiful way to end this video. So we get the Rams Super Bowl in year number three on an incredible run. Like I said, probably the best defense I've had in one of these videos so far. Just held every opponent we played the such low scoring. The Commanders were the only team that scored 20 on us, I believe. So pretty wild. Pretty insane. We get Sean McVay another ring, uh, which is just, it's incredible. I hope you guys enjoy this one. What a great video, in my opinion. We're going to get into the next one, obviously, uh, next or into this week as well. But I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.